think that it's, it's really our best way of protecting our children in the place that they should be safe. And this is the not have to be part of uh, that health and school grounds. Already cover anything uh, as far as tobacco or not tobacco. If you look at the wording of the uh, law, it states that um, that smoking anything, tobacco or not, any tobacco or non-tobacco product that I designed to be possible is already subject to a fine. Correct. Oh, how much? Uh, I, I do not know. Uh, well, what is it, in, in, in the city of Braintree? If I were to walk into Braintree High School and light up a cigarette, what would I receive for a fine? Yeah, no, I'm glad. Okay. We're at the uh, Braintree uh, City Council meeting. Uh, what did you think about you know some of the ordinances that they're trying to pass or add on to the um, a lot already established? Uh, basically, I think it's. I mean, I can see their point about trying to make it so that you know they don't want kids smoking. Obviously, they're looking out for children's welfare, so that's why they have the uh, school zone ordinances. But I think it's a little ridiculous. I mean, 65% of Massachusetts voted to decriminalize marijuana, you know, and I think that half some of that, you know, people are thinking obviously in your own home, you don't want to be busted in your own home. But a lot of that too was the freedom to smoke in public, you know, and I think that that's what they're going to try to do is just clamp down piecemeal, you know, piece by piece. You know, say today it's school zones, tomorrow it's, you know, the mall, and then the next day it's everywhere, you know what I mean? We've already seen, I think, in uh, Everett, they passed a, an ordinance, it's an additional fine for anywhere, anywhere in the city or the town of Everett. So, um, you know, I think that's the route they're going to try to go. I mean, obviously, you know, we're in tough uh, economic times, so people, you know, say they're trying to get as much money as they can, but um, this is a way that they can kind of easily just jump in, you know, the least, you know, the less public uh Notification, you know, the, the less people that know about it, the better, you know, for them. And I mean, um, you see here tonight at this meeting, everybody, everybody that came here, that at least that spoke on it, um, was against the measure that they're trying to, you know, that they're trying to, uh, the proposal they're trying to make, um, and they tabled the measure so that they can get the police chief and the town solicitor, you know, more people that are actually in agreement with what they want to do to come, you know. Um, I think it's clear that we have the strength in numbers. Um, the people have spoken, you know what I mean? And it's like it's. They're gonna continue to try to, I think, take this away from people. And I mean, the thing is, it's decriminalized. And their proposal, you know, it, it continues to decriminalize it. It's not gonna be a criminal, uh, criminal recognition, you know, it's criminal record. It's yeah. not gonna be like a uh, criminal offense, which I think is extremely important. But um, I think that it's important to speak out against all these, and uh, we need to let legislators know um, that that we're not going to just give in. They're not gonna make these backdoor, you know, um, the city councils aren't gonna make backdoor ordinances that people aren't paying attention. Now you, I think you made a couple good points uh, in that meeting. Um, a lot of people didn't really separate as uh, the, the man that proposed or talking. He kept on mentioning you agree with it being smoked in schools. Most people um, said yes, I agree. But then people failed to reiterate the whole ordinance, which was schools and public parks, right, yeah. which I think um, is something kind of deceptive um, sure. because he didn't just say schools, but he included public parks and he included, uh, what else was it? Um, Worship your team. Like, you actually made a point and, um, and addressing that, right? Yeah, and it's like, Judge I mean, and that's a very slippery slope. It's like, what do you, you know, what do you consider a playground? What do you, I mean, obviously, schools are you know what a school is. You know, that's, that's definitely, that's distinct. But in terms of a playground...